One more time. Lock. Unlock. Love it. Hello guys, welcome back to the <laughs> channel. So today I got a, somebody that contacted me from Instagram, I think it was. Follow me on all my social guys, really cool. So what he did, contacted me on Instagram and he wanted to do power folding mirrors on a 2019 uh, Honda Civic. So we're gonna work on that now and get it done. Haven't done one yet, but I think it should be similar to the 2020 Accord, minus a few little things, because I, I think it has a camera, so that might be a little harder. So we're gonna go to work. Also guys, while I was working on the video, I finished your video by the way, I finished your video. While I was working on it, I lost some of the footage. So I'm sorry there's a lot of pictures, but I wanna get it as thorough as possible for you guys. So I put a lot of the pictures. The pictures are from the passenger side, but it's the same thing as the driver side, minus the camera version. So I put a lot of pictures to help you guys see what you're supposed to do. But if you need any help, you have any issues, contact me and I hope this helps. This was a, this took a long time to do and I'm sorry again that I lost some of the footage, but I think I have the main idea and what you guys need to do and everything else should be fairly, I wouldn't say simple, fairly easy. Just watch the video. I think that it should be enough. So anyway, guys, let's go to it and start the process. First thing I'm gonna do, gonna take out the door panel. Let's go. So the first thing we're gonna do, we gotta take out the door panel. You gotta take out um, the window, the master switch. I think there's a screw right here and the rest of it is just pop clips. So let's go. Use your pry removal tool to pop open the window switch panel. There is one screw holding up the door panel, take it out. After that, use your hand, there's like a little ledge. Use the little ledge to pop the door panel open and then you can take the panel out. Then take out the twiddler using your pry removal tool and just pop it open. Those are clips. Next, let's take out the speakers. There's four screw holding it. Since this car has a component speaker, let's take out the wire holding the tweeter. Next, unplug the mirror. Use the little X-Acto knife or a small, super small screwdriver to take out the retainer for the cable. There are three screws holding the mirror. Let's take them out. Now take out the mirror. Let's take it out to the bench. Let's start working on it. We gotta do the mirror, gotta move it down. Grab your pry removal tool. Unplug it. Right, so now let's do the same thing again with the, the cover. We gotta remove the cover first. Bottom clip, which is really hard to get to, or to get at, I should say. And then when I try to move it, so this part moves up, so I gotta hold this part right. down and trying to slide it out. Just like that. There you go. <laughs> that works. Ah! Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> um, sorry, I was just fighting with this thing. Once you get to that last clip, which is over here, you have to hold this thing down and you have to slide it out this way. It's not easy. You gotta play around with it and slide it out and eventually it comes off next thing we're gonna do oh yeah that's good all right it is out we got it guys three more screws let's take them out Alright guys, just pull the cable a little bit more. I don't want to take it out completely. There's another screw right here. This is to hold this cover. Let's take it out. Two more 
over here. bottom cover off now let's pull the heated mirror you can take this other cover off you, you should be able to pop this off it's on the ball so just push it up it should come up there we go I got it okay so can I maneuver it out of there Oh, there. All right. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. And then we can pop this thing off too. There you go. Now we have to take the cable out. There's a couple more screws we got to take out. This one is four. This is the part we have to replace. Right. Okay, I like when they make him that way. All right guys, another picture. All right, we got him. We're gonna reuse this. Okay. All right guys, we have to take these pens out. I want another picture just to make sure I put them back exactly the way it's supposed to go. Okay, let's open this. Uh, there's little tabs over here on the side. Should be able to pop this little tab and open it up. Okay, let's take out the pants. I want another picture. <laughs> guys so um you see the pictures this is what it looks like i'll try to zoom in on the post so you guys can see so let's take these out and now we need to take the cable out all right nice okay guys okay so finally got this thing out yeah, yeah, so that's left. All right, guys. So this is the new one we're gonna install. Basically, the motor is right in here, and then the extra cable is this guy for the power folding. Okay, so now it's a process of doing everything back in reverse. Push the cable this way. Okay, this guy gotta go in the other way. Oh, that's why. Okay, I see how they did it. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very so important. I got yeah. what I need. All right, anyway, guys, <laughs> let's fish the, um, the power folding cable down in the middle here. All right. Just gotta try to push the, uh, the cable in there. There we go. Okay. So the screws that we uh, we took out, we're not gonna reuse them because those are for plastic. We have to use the screws that came with the kit. All right, guys, just feed the cable through this part right here. The main housing, I think it's called. Okay. All right, guys. Next, let's put the um. We gotta put this part first, and then we gotta put the motor in. But before we do that, we have to put these connectors back. 
After you put the cable back into the connector, it should look exactly like this. Make sure you got the colors correctly because that's extremely important. That's why I use the picture, guys. I'm sorry, guys. I lost some of the footage that can show you how I put the, everything back. But just basically watch what you're doing. The way you take it out, you put it back the same way. So after you connect the connector, there's a little cover that go over it. Put it on. There's like three screws, I believe, that holds it. Screw it back on. Now you gotta put that white piece on. You have to clip it to the middle one and then there's two other pens you also have to clip on. Make sure they have all three clip on. You can only put it in one way. Take the front clip and maneuver into the white piece to again sit properly. And then you're gonna need the bottom cover to clip it all together. So the bottom cover clip into the front clip. Line both of them up and then clip them together. Put the three screws that hold the whole thing together. There's two in the front and also one in the bottom. Put the three screws that hold the mirror assembly into the side panel and, and screw them together. Then we gotta put this bottom cover on as well. Okay guys, um, everything is pretty much put, it back, put back in. Now all I have to do is the mirror, let me check out my my thing real quick but it really doesn't matter because those cables are the they do pretty much the same thing so. all right now all you have to do is line up the mirror and then it should clip in fairly easy Double check, make sure it's clipped in. Oh, not, not completely clipped in. There we go. What about over here? All right, guys. Everything is clipped in. Um, I won't put the cap back in yet. We're just gonna put it back into the the door. And then we're gonna run the wires, go to the passenger, then we'll test afterwards. But right now, let's just put this back in the door. Okay, that's done for now. All right guys, so what I'm doing, I'm just double checking the wiring here. So the long wire, we have to run it to the other side. To run it to the other side, we gotta take out the speaker. All right. So I'm gonna run my cable through the door jam to, to do that. I gotta push this guy out from the door and from the top. I should be able to pull it out. I'm gonna try, if this doesn't work, we might be able to push the thing out. Oh, there we go. I got it. Okay, that's all I need. Now I have this long, I don't know, piece of metal. I don't know what you wanna call it. I'm gonna get the longer piece of the wire. I'm gonna tie it to the, to the piece of metal. Now we're gonna run it through the door. All right, it's inside the, the car somewhere. Okay guys, now I just gotta find where that, uh, oh, okay, I think I see it. Okay guys, I got it, see it right there? Now the cable is already inside. We can put this rubber back in, put the grommet back in, and do the same thing on this side. Might be a little harder, but you gotta make it happen. When you running the cable you're gonna have to take this uh, white piece off so what i did i went inside the car and push it out this way and pull it out 
you might need some help someone to hold it while you push it from the inside you pull it out so you can put the um the rubber grommet back in there so now that i finally did it i can push it back into place make sure the rubber is all the way in all around yep it's all the way in all around so we don't get any water inside the car there we go we can route it back into there we go it's back in Whew, it looks easy but it, trust me it was not easy guys okay it's in now we got this cable we got to run it to the other side all right well we'll zip tie it later guys but now we just want to run it just in case we need to pull it back All right guys, so here's the cable. I also pop this uh, cable off. All we have to do is just, it's clipped. You just pop it off, lift this a touch and it's out. So now guys, we gotta take this door panel out so we can run the cable in here. Here we go. There we go. All right. And we can unplug it. Got one screw right here. Okay, right here, there's like a little angle on the edge here. Just pop it. Just keep maneuvering around, and there we go. Let's take out this guy. So, to run our cable, let's take out the speaker, guys. I'm not gonna take this one out guys i'm gonna try to like maneuver this thing out i'm gonna take the one from the door off but the one in the a pillar i'm gonna leave it alone i'm gonna try to make it work all right i got it guys it was not easy but I got it. That's plenty. Now we can unwrap this finally. All right guys, so since it's gonna go this way, let's just route it up here anyway. We're not gonna go back there. Leave some slack so I can zip tie it. And then we can put the speaker back. Let me. Let me get some zip tie. All right, guys, I just put a couple of zip tie to hold the cable. Make sure it doesn't rattle. Okay, guys, so cable is zip tie looking lovely. We don't need to go back in here. We can put the speaker back to its place. Okay guys, speaker is in. Now, let's tackle this mirror, guys. So same as the other one. All right, guys, here we go. Let's unplug this guy. So the same way we did the other one, I'm gonna try to do the same thing over here. Here we go, it's easy enough. Now, let's take out the mirror all right guys okay guys the mirror is out let's go to work first we gotta do the mirror you gotta move it down grab your pry removal tool plug it right so now let's do the same thing again with the 
the cover. We gotta remove the cover first. All right, guys. So let's try to do the same thing with this uh, bottom clip, which is really hard to get to or to get at, I should say. And then when I try to move it, so this part moves up. So I got to hold this part right. down and try to slide it out. Just like that. There you go. <laughs> that works. Ah, okay. All right, guys. <laughs> um, sorry, I was just fighting with this thing. Once you get to that last clip, which is over here, you have to hold this thing down and you have to slide it out this way. It's not easy. You got to play around with it and slide it out and eventually it comes off next thing we're gonna do we gotta pop this cover off there's a little opening somewhere in here Now let's um, take out these uh, the three screws. It just took a while to take this cover off. Okay, guys. So now we gotta take this screw out. So this is what hold the bottom cover off. Now, what we need to do is trying to like disconnect this guy up. Should be just clipped. Ooh, hold on, because this has a camera. We need to we need to disconnect the, the camera. All right, camera is out. This is gonna be a hard one. Just pull this cable out. Now we have to take this part off. Remember, it's. It's a ball, so we should be able to pop this thing off. All right, I got it guys, it's out. So now you can take this part off. We need to take the motor off right here. Let's take all the four screws that hold the motor. Okay. All right, guys. So same thing with this guy. Let's take a couple pictures. I'll put the pictures in the videos too, so you guys can see which one goes where. So if you're holding the motor, this little pointy thing pointing up, A, B. Okay. Okay. Motor is out. Okay. All right, guys, we have to try to depen this connector right here this is for the camera so let's go at it this is the top of the connector that connects the side camera so look at how the cables are make sure the color match when you put it back together very important or else nothing would work very important guys okay keep that in mind to be able to take out the paints you need to take out this white clip 
so to take it out you put your trim removal tool that had the fork you put the two fork into those two little hole push it down and then use a um, screwdriver to push it from the side with the little white piece and then that clip can come off then it'll be easier to take out the pens then there are some little super tiny clips that are holding the wires together lift the tiny little clip then you'll be able to pull out the wire from the back side of it now it's time to install the motor so take the motor and basically do everything in reverse first thing you want to do is push all the cable up from the bottom use a screwdriver long screwdriver to help you push them and then pull them with your fingers slowly the next thing we're going to do guys is set up the mirror motor so you have to get the connector ready then we can put this cover back on next put the four screws that hold the whole thing together then we have to put the front cover on grab the front cover put it at an angle you have to clip it with the bottom cover just like the picture show and then you can clip them onto each other next we're gonna put the adjustment motor into the housing make sure those two pen clip in properly into these little holes also make sure the rubber goes all the way to the the screw where it gets lacking and protected from dust next there's two screws that hold everything in the front you flip it over on the bottom edge there's another screw make sure you tighten that one up snug too then we got to put the side view mirror on line it up and make sure you gently clip everything in and double check that everything is clipped in last but not least we got to put the top cover on line it up just like i'm doing and make sure you slide it and everything should clip in fairly easy now it's time to put the mirror back into the door line it up the same way you took it out and then put the three screws that hold the mirror together then connect it back up so guys because of uh, the way this kit was made rather than trying to find i've been looking for a pen to fit into this connector i cannot find one so i'm not i'm i spent like half an hour on it i'm just tired of trying to like figure it out so i'm gonna splice this right here okay and i'm gonna make my old connection it'll be easier that way just in case you want to take out the um the cable you just use the, the connectors just did my connectors let's, let's test them one more time before we uh, proceed in putting some soldering let's get the module installed all right guys as you can see it's working it's working guys finally let's go and finish up everything and then i'll give you another quick look of both of them opening and closing all right let's go okay guys so i finally put the um the door back the door panel back tweeter everything look just as normal you probably can't see the wire but it's run all the way up here and it goes all the way on the other side go over here on this side and go up to the passenger side all right guys it is all done i just want to give you another quick look let's hit the the lock button all right all right unlock and it opens up beautiful one more time lock unlock love it Okay, lock. Look, you can't even hear it. Quiet. That's a good motor. Lock. Unlock. Oh yeah, I love it. All right, guys. Um, the power folding on the 2019 Honda Civic is all done. You saw it working. I love it. I love it. I love it anyway everything will be down in the description below tell me what you think that's it until the next time peace